I want to personally thank the two members of the board that I'm aware of that came to visit the middle school in the past few weeks to check in. I look forward to hearing your reports on your experience and your personal views on how our teachers and students are currently doing. I come to you again to provide perspective on our experiences as teachers, and I hope you as members of the board will continue to check in on your staff. To be quite honest, I'm beginning to sense an extreme amount of that burnout feeling from many of our staff, myself included. Teacher burnout. It's a term we've been hearing frequently, but unsure as to what it looks like in a real school setting. Psychology Today describes burnout as a state of chronic stress that leads to physical and emotional exhaustion, cynicism, detachment, and feelings of ineffectiveness and lack of accomplishment. For me, it looks a lot like hitting that snooze button a few extra times in the morning, where many mornings I have to drag myself out of bed, an impending feeling of doom and anxiety building up in my chest. It feels like almost drowning, never able to come above the surface for a full breath of air. It looks like a stack of papers that we never have time to grade or appropriately look through. It feels lonely, overwhelming, stressful, and it feels like failure. The burnout isn't just here, it's nationwide. As a school board member, you have the power to help our district staff with this burnout. I've collected a few updates from districts in Maine that are considering the mental and physical well-being of their staff and students in big ways. Many schools, as you may have heard, opted to remove two days leading up to the Thanksgiving break, voicing concerns over teacher and students' mental well-being, and many others are looking ahead to the holiday break approaching. SAD 46 in the Dexter area, SAD 68 in Dover Foxcroft, as well as John Baptist High School in Bangor have opted to remove December 20th, 21st, and 22nd from their school calendar. Um, citing an uptick in COVID cases, as well as COVID exhaustion among teachers and students as the driving force behind this change. They all referenced a desire to preserve the mental well-being of their teachers and staff. SAD 46's calendar change was actually recommended by a school board member, stating, I just feel everyone involved deserves and needs a break. Mentioned as well was the current need for teachers to take on extra responsibilities, as district employees have given countless additional hours while also worrying about their own families. SAD 46's superintendent mentioned that teachers have to cover other classes due to staff shortages, saying at times there have been 10 to 12 staff members out for the day. Three minutes. Our middle school alone had approximately 18 staff members out on Wednesday of last week. I can only imagine that many others were out throughout our district. At last check, I'm fairly confident we do not have 18 substitutes that we can send solely to our middle school. So it's up to the rest of us to try and make it work. Our secretaries, librarians, ed techs, allied arts teachers, classroom teachers, and even our administrators are having to step up to cover these absences meaning another job isn't being done that is essential to the appropriate functioning of our schools on a daily basis, or that us teachers are having to miss out on precious planning time throughout the day. For me personally, my prep period today was spent handling student behaviors due to a staff absence, and so I will have to finish whatever I wasn't able to plan immediately after school after picking up my children, and I will have to finish it tonight after leaving this meeting. This is a truth for many of the staff in our district. RSU 48, which includes the Miranda Cook area schools, recently added seven early release days to its school schedule so teachers can have appropriate planning time and focus on their mental health. Another school district, Winthrop, has added early release days every Wednesday starting in two weeks to give teachers more planning time and more time to take care of their mental well-being. I was also recently made aware of Elm Street School in East Machias opting to make those last three days in December remote learning for students where they complete a certain amount of skills on IXL or other diagnostic programs as posted by the teachers. If you're concerned with the number of academic days, we are currently at 177 identified on our calendar, where the main DOE only requires 175. This is, of course, just food for thought for you as you head into tonight's board meeting. And my experience and insight is only one viewpoint of the many staff in this district. Other districts in Maine are looking into the mental well-being of their staff. And I would like to continue to encourage the board to check in and consider the needs of your teachers and staff because the burnout is real. Thank you.